Last game of the day, and we've got Arizona going to Utah. And, of course, I had to write my time down. But last game, we've got Arizona going to, Sto- uh, not Stillwater, uh, Salt Lake City. Utah played in Stillwater last week. Uh, Utah, an 11.5 point favorite, total 48.5 on this one. And my stats model has Utah favored by 17.74. My power rating plus stats has got Utah favored by 13.5. And, And yes, it might be a bit of a letdown spot after Utah just went and dominated uh, Oklahoma State last week. Gave up a couple of late scores in garbage time, but at the end of the day, you knew who was winning that football game. Uh, Got a little hairy at the very end of the game, but it is what it is. Uh, Utah's offense, number 73 in PPA per pass, number 77 in PPA per rush. Who knows if we're going to see Cam Rising again? If if we see Cam Rising, this number is going to jump well, well above 11 and a half. I think it's probably going to be the Wilson kid again, and I think he's just fine. Like, they're running the ball nearly 57% of the time, but Arizona's defense is not good. They're number 92 in PPA allowed per drive, number 92 in PPA allowed per play, um, they are number 75 in defensive success rate. Well, Utah's defense is number five. And even with Arizona's offense having a few good things going their way, Noah Fafita can still throw the football, but they're not successful with it. They're number 111 in PPA per pass. Or sorry, number 111 in PP. Number 111 in passing success rate. You can tell it's been a long week. Um, but yeah, number 111 in uh, in passing success rate. They are number 46 in PPA per rush, number 71 in passing or in rushing success rate. But Utah is better than them at all of this. Arizona can't finish drives. Well, they definitely wouldn't be able to do it against Utah because Utah is number 16 in points per scoring opportunity allowed. Uh, you, you look at the five factors plus talent rank, Utah is number seven. That's how efficient this team is. Incredibly efficient. Um, Arizona is number 79 in that metric. I don't think 11 and a half is enough. I, I, don't, I don't think it's nearly enough. Uh, so I am going to, yeah, I'm going to take Utah. There is an 11 out there that I wrote down, but let's see if it's moved any. Um, yes, there is an 11, and it is at Caesars. So, uh, well, Caesars and DraftKings. There you go. There's also a 12 out there if you wanted to take Arizona, uh, but you can get that at Bet Rivers. Yeah, just Bet Rivers. And so, but yeah, you shop around for your lines. Shop around for your lines. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.